Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. Uh, doing a Wednesday roadway ramble. Roadway. A uh, day late. Uh, just got tied up yesterday and couldn't do it. And I'm going to try to do a quick one today because, you know, the main reason is I wanted to smoke something. <laughs> so I've got my, my Stendakowski pipe. And what I want to smoke is my 2020 blend. This is the mishmash of everything I smoked in 2020. And I had, I planned to do this for the past two Sundays and I kept forgetting. And I just now thought of it and I said, ah, heck, I didn't make a video yesterday. I'm going to, I'm going to smoke this today. So let me load it up and I'll tell you what's in here. This is a, so the idea is this is everything that I smoked in 2020 that I liked that wasn't Haunted Bookshop or Carter Hall. The reason being is it would be nothing but Haunted Bookshop and Carter Hall. Uh, no aromatics, that's that's one of the rules, and you, it has to be a bowl's worth, so it's not like I'm putting in the end of the tin, I'm, I'm making sure that it's a full bowl gets donated to this blend, and then it gets shaken up and put away, and the next thing gets added, and, and so on and so on. So, I got the pipe loaded, let me uh, put this down so I don't drop it. And, yeah, it's a fair amount of tobacco. I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> so, what we got here. Now, this is everything. I'm going to need my glasses. This is uh, everything from 2020. And I started it with a bowl's worth of my 2019 blend. And I'll take a bowl's worth of this and put it into my 2021 blend. So, the first thing is 2019 blend. Then we've got Three Nuns Green, McBaron London, Sir Walter Raleigh, Amphora Burley, Watch City Slices, C&D Carolina Red Flake, Amphora Bold Kentucky, Perique, oh uh, sorry, Red Flake with, uh, I miss, I skipped something here, C&D Carolina Red Flake with Perique, and then Amphora Bold Kentucky, C&D Orion's Arrow, Kamoy Cask Number 4, C&D Briar Fox from 2014, Yorktown with the addition of Perique, Robert McConnell's Highgate, H&H &H, uh, Rustica, Newminster 400 Superior Flake, St. Bruno Flake, and Boswell's Private Stock. And I will type that up and put it in the description for you. Not that it's worth anything, but I know I read through it quickly, and you might want to go and look. Uh, nobody's going to replicate this blend. <laughs> but let's see. let's see what we get. Well, I'm getting a very spicy Perique note right off the top. Need a tamper, darn it. That's the hazard of that two finger over the bowl thing. Sometimes the bowl's too full and you get a bit of a surprise. <laughs> There we go. Mm. Picking up a, a lot of Virginia, uh, a lot of Burley. <laughs> what surprised me in 2019, and I, I just quickly read through this, I'll think about it more as I'm typing it up, but it surprised me how much Virginia winds up in this blend. But that's because I'm smoking things to sort of differentiate its furnace weather. I think what I was saying is I, I smoke a lot of things that are, you know, different from what I normally smoke, but in small quantities. So the stuff that winds up in there is intentionally very different from my usual um, <coughs> routine rotation. Virginias, a lot of Virginia Preaks. But there were a few, few uh, Burleys tossed in there. One thing uh, some of you might note, I really enjoyed the Savinelli Jupiter uh, Burley. I unfortunately forgot to put some in the in the uh, the blend, so that one is missing. Or did I?
No, it's it's missing. Mm, this is very good, um, and it should be. You know, you're only putting stuff you like in it. That's important. I found in the past when I've done blends like this that if I put anything I don't like in it, that will become the dominant flavor. You'll never get rid of that flavor. You'll never make it better. If you don't like it, give it to somebody else. You're, you're never going to make it better. Or put it away for six months and try it again. You know, that's an option too. But don't think that adding a blends that you do like to it is somehow going to magically fix it. It just doesn't work that way. Oh, this is good. It's, it's really got a, a lot of uh, Periki, Virginia kind of flavor with a nice sturdy, burly background. Exactly what you'd expect, you know. <laughs> This is this is actually one that if if I could buy this I would probably buy more of it. So I try to ration this out over the year, you know, have a bowl or two each month. And then of course the there has to be a bowl that goes into the jar for for 2021. I haven't started that jar yet, although I've got a couple of uh couple of tins open that are gonna to have to go into it so we'll we'll do that soon mm. really nice so this pipe this is a, this was a gift of my friend uh, Bona Piper Christian and I, I really love it um, it's by a guy named Stan Nokowski and I believe he sells the pipes on eBay and they're very reasonably priced and th this pipe just smokes perfectly I think I, I opened up the funnel a bit when I first got it. I'm trying to remember. I think this is a pipe that I did that on. I do that a lot on, on pipes because a lot of the ones that are... Sometimes it's just, you know, buzzed in there with a circular cutter and then it's a straight line from that. So I try to funnel that and that helps it smoke, uh, helps the smoke flowing into your mouth. But other than that, I did nothing to it, and I, I really enjoy it. So, if you're in the market for a very reasonably priced pipe, uh, look up Stan Nikowski on eBay. Or get to be really good friends with Christian. That's another possibility. Well, the weekend is upon us. It's Thursday. I consider it Friday the start of the weekend. Friday night we got a uh, virtual pipe club and we're going to have some fun with that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting down with all you guys and having a bowl and a, and a beverage. Uh, I think I'm going to tell a badger story. So you might want to tune in just to hear the badger story. I may forget between now and then, so feel free to remind me. Also, Steve, Steve and Kat, so Kilted Piper Steve and his wife Kathy have uh, started doing a live stream on Sunday afternoons, and I just happened to see it uh, last week, last Sunday, and watched it for a bit. It was, it was really enjoyable. They do a great job with it. They're great folk. Um, so if you're interested, if you need something to do Sunday afternoon, uh, it's 12 o'clock, I believe it's 12 o'clock Central, so that's 1 p.m. Eastern, um, and if you're anywhere else, Google it. Um, but yeah, check, check out uh, Steve and Kathy. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have a good time. They're, they're good folk. So that's about it guys, uh, just wanted to share this uh, first smoke of my 2020 blend with you. It's, uh, it's quite good, see, some good things did come from 2020. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it, I'm going to finish the bowl and get this video edited. 
I hope I'll see you tomorrow night for the Virtual Pipe Club, 8 p.m. Eastern. Until then, take care, guys.